Okay, so as you can see, I kind of overfed my starter last night. I kind of knew that was going to happen. I wanted to feed this before we went on vacation. I needed to feed it because it's been four days. That's how long I wait to feed mine. And I already had too much in here, and I didn't. I didn't feed it till like 10 o'clock at night. And I knew. I was like, I don't want to make crackers or anything. So I kind of figured this was going to happen. <laughs> But that's okay, I'm actually gonna scrape up and use all of this. I'm going to actually put it in a new glass jar. I have two of these guys, I just got them recently. One for basically in use, the other one for standby in case things like this happen. One of my favorite things to make with when you have a lot of discard is either pancakes or I recently just discovered waffles are absolutely amazing with sourdough. They, you wanna do this with fed sourdough like this guy but they are like super duper light and very crispy and delicious. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. So I'm going to, I'm not wasting any of this, it's all going in the bowl. I'm gonna use about two cups of this, which would be perfect, refeed this guy, let him sit out all day, and then he's going to the fridge till we get back from my in-laws, and we're gonna make some freezer waffles. So this recipe starts out with me getting the fully fed sourdough starter. Like I said, I fed this last night. And I like to weigh mine out, it's just the best way to do it I find. And two cups of fed sourdough is what you need for this recipe, which is 454 grams. I actually have that written on one of the dry erase boards on my fridge. You'll see me look up a couple times trying to reference that number, but it's 454 grams of fed sourdough starter. Next, you're gonna add two eggs and two tablespoons of your favorite neutral oil. I'm adding avocado here, but you can also do melted coconut oil, as well as two tablespoons of honey. You can see I just eyeball this stuff. I make this so much. Two teaspoons of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. And then you're just going to whisk this until everything's combined. Sometimes you have to use a little bit of muscle here. And then just bake this or cook this based on your waffle irons cooking recommendations. I have one of these flip ones. So I added about a cup of batter to the hot waffle iron that was preheated. And then I close it and give it about two minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. This is a Belgian waffle maker, by the way. And then once my little red light is done, I just pull them out. serve these with some grass-fed butter, some maple syrup, and they're absolutely delicious. This waffle is very airy and very light from the sourdough itself, and it's absolutely delicious. All the recipe measurements are below. I hope you give this recipe a try. If you do, let me know. I'd love to see how it goes. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.